Pubs are the last bastion of a normal English, British, mm. well, any any country's way of life, where mm. we can go and speak and we're not looking at a screen. Yeah. And they're 75% face closure over the winter. Yeah. It's absolutely disgusting. Just, gonna... just say, that, say that again. 75%. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's staggering. Nobody says anything about it. Nobody's Permanent lockdown. Yeah, and yeah. there's no there's no price cap for them. I mean, uh, insofar as the price cap still means anything, we're meant to think that seven thousand seven hundred quid. Oh, thank, thank God for the price cap. Who knows what it would be otherwise? Well, the price cap is a, a guide, isn't it? So it's mm. supposed to be so that people can plan ahead, mm. but it's just got absolutely out of control and ludicrous. Now, I mean, I don't believe there should be government intervention, though, in terms of saving the pubs or whatever. What I think is that the pubs, unfortunately, will have to put their prices up. But the punters, the customers need to know so this is nothing to do with the war in Ukraine. This is nothing to do with anything apart from their own government's net stupid policies. As long as they realise that, then that's the main thing. This is nothing to do with anything else. Well, a week from today, uh, a certain lady, unless Rishi pulls off the all-time great surprise, is going to be up at Balmoral kissing yep. hands and becoming Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Why doesn't she just say now, net zero is bonkers when you're talking about £15 a pint for beer? And uh, we're putting it we're putting it to one side. And if the good times ever come back, circa 2040, 2070, then we can start fooling around with all this rubbish. Well, again. I'm, I'm rather hoping that is the case. And I was with Lord Frost today and mm. I actually put the question to him. You know, when you've got 70 percent of Tory voters that want a pause and review, at mm. least mm. of net zero, what on earth is Liz Truss thinking potentially putting Quasi Kartang in as chancellor? I mean, he's a net zero fanatic. And. Lord Frost is, is not really into the whole net zero thing at no. all, at all. But, you know, he has to be careful what he says. And I don't want to break any Chatham House rules. But, you know, I, it, yeah, we really need Liz to scrap net zero, don't we? But the quasi card turn thing, it does worry me because, you know, he's, he's a fanatic. Well, and he's surrounded by fanatics as well.